Hi, this is Gail Haynes from FirstTrainingMadeSimple.com and today we're going to do a trailer loading exercise for you. It's going to be a short version of it simply because um, it's, uh, we have a maximum 15 minutes to get this information to you. But if you go to our website at HorseTrainingMadeSimple.com, we do have the step-by-step -step plan in written form there for you in more detail. So we're starting today with a horse that has done this lesson before, just to make it a little easier to show you all the steps that we need so that you understand uh, the components of the exercise. And uh, we won't be going into uh, the different problems that you may have today as far as rearing and horses that run over the top. Um, we won't fully address those today in our short version, but we will expand on those uh, later on in different training videos. All right, so what we're going to do today is um, we've got uh, Cassie here. And like I said, she has been worked through this lesson before. I'm going to start out with the different equipment that we want to use for the video. Um, I always do my trailer loading training with a full cheek snaffle and the reason I do that is it makes it much easier for the horse to learn the lesson without having to put as much pressure on them. It also makes it much easier if I have let's say a horse that's trying to run off or a horse that's trying to um, have any other different behavior problems that I have that much more control over the horse when I have a bit in the mouth. Um, I always do put the lead rope on the bit and I will tie the reins up if the reins are not detachable. The other really important piece of equipment is our boots. So I want to have something on my horse's legs when I'm doing trailer loading training and trailer loading. Uh, the reason I want to do that is there's a chance that as the horse is doing this program or working on the trailer that they may step on themselves or may step on a part of the trailer. So we want to make sure that the legs are protected. It's not a good idea to use shipping boots for trailer load training simply because they are bulky and they're not designed for a lot of movement and the trailer loading exercise there will be a fair amount of movement in the in the exercise. The last thing that I really like to make sure that I have is a dressage whip. Uh, the reason is that with the dressage whip what I'm going to be doing is using that as my forward cue uh, when I'm trailer loading I don't go in the trailer with the horse for the training portion of it. So I want to have a cue that tells the horse to go in the trailer that they're comfortable with, that when the whip touches their hip, they know that that's to go forward. All right, so the, uh, if you've read the articles at our website, you know that the first step in trailer loading is having a horse that has good ground manners. So we want to do a few quick little exercises to show you, again, in more detail, uh, in written form on our website, uh, that uh, I always make sure that I do before I start the process, makes the training process way easier. The first thing that I want to do is I want to teach my horse the forward cue. Now the forward cue is simply the whip touching the point of the hip. All right, so I'll bring her around here and then I want to be able to pull her back. So right here is where I want that to touch. So when I go here, I want her to move forward and I want to make sure that she's not afraid of it. I'm not using the whip to intimidate the horse, I'm using right. the whip to teach the horse to go forward. So go ahead again, tap the forward, and when I go forward, what I want to be able to do is bring her hip around and have her stop like so. I also want to make sure that I do have the horse that's able to back the horse up. That's really important so that if the horse is getting pushy, I'm able to um, tell the horse to get out of my space. When I'm doing the trailer loading, I always do the training in the passenger side of the trailer. And the reason I do that, it just makes it a little easier and you'll see that as we go through the process. Uh, when I'm trailering the horse to go anywhere, I'm always going to put the horse in the um, driver's side if I'm only traveling with one horse. But for training purposes, that's what we're going to do. Uh, quickly, make sure you check your trailer for safety. Make sure there's no sharp edges. Um, make sure that, you know, that it's in good repair. As far as the difference between a ramp and a step-up trailer, they both got their uh, pluses and minuses. I prefer the step-up trailers simply because you don't have the slip factor with the ramp. And, um, but again, everybody has their preferences. So whatever you have, just make sure it's safe. I also make sure that there's no hay in the trailer. It's really important that you don't have anything to distract from the lesson uh, so that the horse is concentrating on what you are going to be teaching them. All right, so we're going to take a little walk away from the trailer first. 
So many of you are going to have a horse that doesn't even want to get anywhere near the trailer. So I'm going to just circle around here in front. So I'll start walking toward the trailer. And let's say the horse stops in this position right here. This is where the trailer loading lesson begins. Um, we've got a few little extra horses in here. We've got our old timers that hang out in the arena with us, so um, if they come into view every now and then, don't worry, that's uh, our old girls that are watching us doing our, our class here. <laughs> so whenever the horse stops, that's where our, horse, our lesson begins. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ask my horse the forward cue that we worked on earlier. So I'll simply tap right here, and I do a kissing sound and walk forward until the horse stops. The basic principle, the basic principle with this exercise is that I'm gonna ask the horse to go forward and as long as the horse makes an effort to go forward, I'm gonna reward the horse. So that could be just reaching down with their neck, that could be one step forward, it could be even just pawing. Now, Cassie's a little bit anxious with the horses walking around, but that's okay. Um, it will help you to kind of see a few different things with the exercise here. One of the things is that once you start your approach to the trailer, you don't want to be circling around. So you may, from this position, think that I should circle my horse around. But if I ask my horse to tap forward, what you'll see happen is she will actually straighten herself up, or I can simply just stop from this right here and move her over just like this. Okay. <coughs> So wherever your horse stops in the lesson, don't worry, that's just fine. Uh, once I'm here, once we get the horse where they're at the trailer and they're comfortable, um, then we continue just the same step. I'm gonna ask my horse to go forward, kissing sound, and if they take one or two steps here, I'll pet them, reward them, let them know everything's doing fantastic. If they wanna stretch their nose down and sniff, that's fine. And when they're ready to back up, that's also fine. So. As long as they've listened to the first time that I've asked them to, to go forward, I want them to back up because the first foot on the trailer is the last foot off the trailer. So we want to make sure that the horse is comfortable both getting on and getting off the trailer. So we'll just continue this process. Okay. And if she stops here, just reward her. Your feet should go on and off the trailer a couple hundred times by the time this lesson is all done but it shouldn't be an exciting lesson. This should be fairly low key, fairly boring. And again, whenever my horse wants to get out of the trailer, that's just fine, but I'm gonna keep them pointing toward the trailer. Now, if my horse backed up 10 feet from the trailer, then again, I'll let them pause there for a moment, and then I'm gonna ask them to go forward again. Now, if I think that I can get my horse to step one extra foot forward, then sometimes I will ask for that from the horse as well. I'm going to ask her to go in one more time. We've got two feet going on the trailer consistently. And what will happen is you're going to find that your horse is going to go on in their comfort zone of where they are, you know, willing to stand and hang out and get rewarded is going to keep moving forward as you continue to practice this lesson. Send her forward too. And I'm stopping her here just for sake of the lesson so that you can see what we're doing. Just let her pause here for a moment, let her sniff, let her look around, and then if they're in there for quite some time, you can actually take them back out, just to let them know that this is not gonna be their home for the rest of their life, they're just here for the lesson. Again, I can push her shoulder over here if I want, or just ask her to go forward again. Once she's out, you can give her a couple moments to pause, and then ask them to go back in. is simply that they're learning that they need to respond to the forward cue and that when they come back out of the trailer, when they're out of the trailer, it's ultimately where they're going to be spending more time working and when they're in the trailer is when they're going to really get to rest and you're going to leave them alone. So they start actually really wanting to go inside the trailer uh, rather than wanting to be out here. Okay, we're going to back her up again. Then we'll ask her to go back in. And it might seem like it's a little monotonous to keep doing this, but what happens is we keep setting that horse up for responding to that cue that when we ask them to go forward, they say, yes, okay, I can do that for you. 
and then let them relax and rest, realize everything's okay. Then they can come back out of the trailer again when they're ready. Okay? And so here, once she's waited for a while, I can either, I can bring her back out, or like I said, sometimes she will decide that she's ready. This is a position that you have to be a little bit careful of. When my horse pushes their nose over here, sometimes they'll actually try and run over the top of you, which is why I like this position so I can step in the trailer if necessary. All right, we're gonna start working a little more inside the trailer. So I'm gonna put this right over her back. Let's ask her to go a little bit further forward. Okay. If your horse is in the trailer and you feel like they, you could ask them for forward again and they will step forward, then you can go ahead and ask. If you feel like you tap them and ask them to go forward that they're gonna be scared and back out, then you wanna just bring them out and keep working it until you feel like they're comfortable. But again, Cassie's done this a few times before, so I know that if I ask her for more forward, there we go, good, then we will get it. All right, so even when she's putting her foot out here, this is just, that's okay. Again, I'm just gonna thank her for putting the effort in that she did. She'll come back out again, nice and easy and relaxed. Good job. Let her know she's doing great. And then send her back in. And we're going to get all four feet in. So you just keep working this process step by step until your horse is getting in and out of the trailer comfortably. And then they start staying in here longer and longer. What I want to be able to do, this exact thing, when the horse starts to step out, I want to be able to tap them and let them know that they have to stay in the trailer. This is probably one of the more critical um, lessons that you'll teach your horse. A lot of people think that once all four feet are in the trailer and their hindquarter is past the edge here that you can close the trailer up and just get on the road. And I guess you could, but if you really want the horse to learn the lesson and be comfortable with everything, you want to make sure that when they feel pressure when they're coming back, that they will be able to go forward again so that you don't have a horse that's trying to push out or bolt out of the trailer backwards. So whenever they try and come out, tapping them back forward again is really, really important. Once you've got that where you feel that they're really strong with that and every time that they try and come out, that they go back in again easily, then you can go ahead and put the... Uh, button. <laughs> Then you can go ahead and put the butt tie on, and you can practice and make sure that they're feeling comfortable with everything. And so what I'll actually do is I'll actually pull on the lead rope, and I want them to bump into this, and then see them go forward again, just like that. So that reaction from her was absolutely perfect. that I want my horses to be able to, when I undo the tie, I want them to stand there and wait until I give them a cue or signal or let them know that it's time to come out. So if they do start to step out again, it's really important that you stay on that correction and let them know when they can come out. So I'll just come in and pull them back. Back all the way out. Okay. So that is, again, our short version. Um, we'll have more details on the website at www.horsetrainingmadesimple.com. Come and visit us there. We've got lots of great blogs available for you to check out. And uh, you'll get to uh, really get some details on uh, some of the things that we weren't able to fit into the video today. And if you have questions, please email them to us or post comments on the blog if there was an area that you're still not sure of or if, let's say, there's something going on with your horse and you want some help with it. We'd be happy to help guide you through this, this process. Uh, this is a lesson every horse should learn. And you never know when you're going to need to get your horse on a trailer, whether it be an emergency situation, and you don't want to be training your horse at that time. So thanks so much for watching the video today, and hope you have a great day. Take care.